Hi, I thought I'd film a video of my planner setup for 2015. I'm still in my Franklin Covey Compact. Inside this pocket I keep notes. Nothing's in the zipper pocket right now. I have this flap for receipts. I have my color coding system here. Stamps. And this flyer came in the mail of this pendant and I thought it was cute since it had our names on it. I cut it out and taped it to the back of this frosty page lifter. My to-do list is just where I keep my running shopping list. When I run out of stuff, I write it down. And if, I, if there's not too many things and I make a quick trip to the store, then I just go ahead and pick those things up. This is a Christmas card I got a couple years ago. So pretty, sparkly. I put it in here every winter. And my sections are my list. That's just my weekly cleaning list. And then my note section. Obviously notes. And then the family section. dad's memorial page and then my section there's nothing in my section um, there's a section for each one of us they have on the back page if they take a daily medicine it's written down the kids school info is written down and there's also a copy of their schedules in here in the dog sections it's just their last recorded weight and their rabies certificate. For both of them. Now we get to my month view. I use two page per month. And it looks like this. The last four days of December are colored in. If we go to a town to do any shopping or errands or anything, I'll write that. That's like the highlight of the day there's a highlight of the day I'll put that and then put a bubble around it I track the weather husband's OT and this is the planner that I consult first when I make appointments this is what I look at and then every Sunday night I will go in and I will make sure that this syncs with the daily pages and I keep this page marker upside down for the month these are from Franklin Covey. I just cut it down to size because I think it's for a classic size. And I list our paydays and what bills come out of each check. And those are pretty much the same every month. There's one of these in every month already. And then the 2016 is just this one page rundown. I love these. And I've got one for 2017. And then we get to the daily. Happy New Year! I printed this out from somewhere online. I don't remember where. I did a lot of printing out this week. This, These pages are by Daytimer. And I use Daytimer because I love this particular setup. You have a full you know, all the way across scheduling. You have a little to-do section and then you have your journal page. I've got this broken down into four columns for us. Um, this one's mine, obviously. This is my husband's and then the kids. Theirs next week will have school written in them. And I just printed these little quote things out. And these, my daily chores, are on flags that I get from Dollar Tree online. I think I bought eight packs. They're like a dollar a pack. Um, and when I get these completed, I just move them to the next Thursday. That way I don't have to write all this stuff in and take up space when I could be putting something else in that space. 
And there won't always be a journal card in between, but I just thought that was cute. And the quote on the back says, start each day with a positive thought, which I did this morning. And then I almost burned breakfast. And then I dropped an egg on the floor. And here I keep track of anything I've ordered, like off of eBay I ordered a desk calendar with a daily crossword puzzle on it, and then I had to order a box from UPS. And the yellow ones are just my kids' username and passwords to check their grades at their school. And my journal page is where I plan to do like cute things, like I, I will always have these. I track my water, my coffee, and my green tea intake. And I printed these off and just used a glue stick to glue them on. And my plan for this year is to keep this planner neat and cute. That's one of my goals. And if I run out of room and a lot's gone on, then I'll add another journal card and write stuff on it if there's nowhere to tape it or glue it. And each day looks no, I put, I've already set these up at the bank. These are the days they get paid. They come out of the checking account. And then my dog son's birthday is Friday. He will be three. And it's just the same all week. As I do these things, they get moved to the next week. There's the back to school sticker the kids didn't like seeing. And before I had, if you saw my other video, the quick video of my planner, I had a little section down here that says to do tomorrow. I took that out because I didn't always use it and it was like a wasted space. So this is what I plan to do. If there's something to do tomorrow that's important, I'll put it on a postie and then it reflects that next day. And let's see. I went ahead and put, yeah, my brother's birthday in there. And then, one more. My other doggie's birthday, she'll be 10. And then we have my health and fitness section. This is two page per week. It's by Day Runner. Oh, and my two page per month was by Day Runner because they come with this. And this, I don't keep these but I just track my food and calorie intake and my husband's food and calorie intake and today's a holiday so we get to splurge for dinner but we're both on diets so I just divide the page in half I'm on this side he's on this side and I try to pre-plan his meals so that I know exactly what to fix him for breakfast and exactly what to fix him for lunch and dinner and then we go back here. This is just a pullout that I printed off a of Filofaxi. And all I plan to do with this is to write the total miles logged for that day and then just put the total here at the end. Um, my goal is to log a thousand miles again this year, which I did last year. I think for 2014 it was 1,148 miles logged. Here is the monthly. It's just one page per month. This is for my health. I also plan to put the total miles here and what exercise it was like walking, biking, running, which I'm not able to do as much as I'd like. My blood pressure, I check every Monday will be here. Any health related symptoms like headache, you know, things like that. And then this other two page per day, and these are my blogs. I'm running out of time. The Brain, KK Mom Runs, the Brain .com is where I will post daily pictures of this planner. And then my I Love Nail Polish blog. And this is just a track when I make a post, like I'm filming a video now, it'll be up today or tomorrow. At the end of the month, I plan to film a daily flip through of my pages. It'll be set to music, so I won't be talking through it, but it'll either be up 
the last day of the month or the first day of the following month. And then I still have my first aid kit and black page lifter. And I just use this Sharpie pen. And I got it on clearance. It was in a pack of three. So I got a blue one and a red one at Hobby Lobby. They had a bunch of markers on sale the day I went. So yeah, I stocked up. But that is a look at my planner for 2015. If there are any changes, then I will also put up a video of any changes I make. Otherwise, it'll just be an end of the month flip through. Also, on Instagram, I plan to do a picture a day of that day so you can see what it looks like. But that will also be on the blog. And the journal, when you saw that journal tag that I had on my days, I've got this five year journal, 365 questions for five years, that I plan to do. And I got it. I want to say in June of last year, but I've been holding out on it until the first of this year. So I'll be starting this today at some point. Thank you for watching. Bye.